A push for death today in Wake County courtroom as the prosecution made their case for why a Wendell man should die for murdering his in-laws and shooting his estranged wife in the face and chest. Yesterday, Nate Holden was found guilty by a jury of his peers of first-degree murder. Today, the sentencing phase started. CBS North Carolina's Steve Sprage has been in the courtroom since opening statements. And Steve, you heard more chilling testimony again today. And before we heard that testimony, Sean, we heard from both sides who staked out their positions. The defense says that Nate Holden had a very rough upbringing. The prosecution says the murders were just part of a violent pattern. You haven't heard the whole story yet. Prosecutor Matt Lively telling the jury that after the murders and the attack on his then estranged wife, Nate Holden fled to an area near where he used to live and tried to kill deputies who were searching for him in a darkened field. They heard gunshots, multiple gunshots. Again, this is the dark of night in the early morning hours of April 10th. They don't know where they're coming from or who's firing them. Prosecutors say that shooter turned out to be Holden, but his attorneys told the jury that Holden is more than a murderer. They say he had a troubled childhood and didn't want his marriage to be a copy of what his parents went through. Nate tried to overcome his past and the problems that it could have created in him. He told people he wanted to be different. He was going to put family first. He was not going to have children with multiple women he was not going to be an abusive husband. And attorney Jonathan Braun asked the jury to spare Nate Holden's life. We know how the story of Nate Holden's life will end. He's going to die in prison. Now you will be given the decision to determine how he will die. And coming up at 6 o'clock, you're going to hear that chilling testimony from deputies who testified today, testified about how they tracked him and how they engaged in a shootout with him. Join us then. For now, reporting live, I'm Steve Sprazier, CBS, North Carolina. Steve.